day 114. Pleasant morning. I stayed up way too late last night, but that's cool. It's a little after 4. I'm ready to go. I'm just sitting here having myself a little safety meeting before I take off. It is gorgeous outside. It is until the fireball comes up. But today is town day. I mean, we should make it to town. There's still like 17 miles to go, but we, we should make it there. Maybe not early. But maybe weirder things have happened. The train's probably pretty smooth between here and there. But I, I don't quite remember. Uh, if we're only sleeping four hours, I feel pretty good. I'll get a nap in later on or go to bed early tonight. You know, something. Huh. Let's sit here, finish up my safety meeting, and hit the road. See you out there. And we're off. It is 4.20 in the a.m. And everything is looking and feeling good. I should probably check how far the next water is. I can generally make it about 10 miles or so before I need water. You know, I have damn near a liter of coffee in my belly and a liter in my chest. On any other trail, walking away from the water without knowing where the next one is is just stupid. But out of here, there's water every handful of miles. You have to really try to dehydrate yourself out here. We have made it to lovely West Virginia. What? Now I can legally have sex with my sister. <laughs> We're in this state for a whole five miles, which is about five more miles than you really want. Better go where the trail leads, unless there's an easier way around. We came upon a view. Oh my gosh, I didn't even cut into it. I have to follow a little blue blaze down to grab some water. Unfortunately, on the way by, I did notice people were camping down by it, so I'll try to be stealthy. I saw a skunk just a little bit ago. Luckily, he was running away. Cute fluffy tail, though. It made me think I've seen more dead skunk on the side of the road than living ones in the woods. I've seen maybe six or eight live skunks, but, you know, a hundred dead ones. We just saw the biggest wolf spider maybe I've ever seen, but she ran down in between the rocks, so I wasn't going to bother stopping to take a picture of her, her butt hanging out. Oh, cool, there's a red light on. I don't have to worry about being stealthy. Don't quite know where the spring is. Ooh, maybe this is it. Well, shit, I should have brought a scoop with me. Well, that little hole's my water. I had to go back and grab a scoop because well, it's not really moving. And it's not very deep, but it'll do. There's not water for like another eight miles, so what choice do I have? Don't know what the hell is going on here. It's like they were trying to reattach this dead limb. All the way up to there. Is there any higher? No. I don't understand.
And they brought power tools out here. Look how deep set those screws are. Well, at least that's true. I don't understand. Oh, the sun just came up. I didn't even know I just walk by and thought I saw fire for a second. With this breeze going on, this is like the best day yet. It would be hot, sticky, and humid, but no, this is freaking gorgeous. The birds never quite woke up to do their thing. I mean, there's one randomly here and there, but, you know, no explosion of song like normal. Not like there aren't enough trees. The way this breeze is coming in reminds me of ocean waves. All right, we've made it to the Blackburn Trail Center. This is where we were intending on heading last night, but we got sidetracked by that restaurant. You know, had we not, we made it there. Turns out they did a hiker feed last night. We heard through the grapevine. Um, she was on Facebook. She has service. Uh, Kula's down there. And I'm assuming the group that he's now hanging out with, which are all cool people that I've been hanging out with from the beginning. I've introduced them to you before in um, the Chestnut Shelter. A good group of people 
So now I'm a little bummed I didn't make it there last night, but I'm always exactly where I'm supposed to be. So I'm cool with that as well. I did really enjoy my breakfast yesterday that I had for dinner. Because breakfast for dinner is a great thing too. Breakfast anytime. But it's really nice, really good portions, really cheap. They stayed open late for us. So all in all, good experience either way. But had I known there was free food, I would have made a beeline for it. But you don't know these things. And you know, I got my meal from there last time I came through. So, yeah. Let's not be greedy, man. This was a much better experience this time through. The roller coaster was so easy. We didn't even notice we left it. It's not easy. It's just casual. It's a lot like everything else we've hiked on. So, I'd have been a little, I don't know, embarrassed to put the warning sign in there. But, uh, you know, whatever that sign was in the beginning. Even as a joke, I'm like, you know, yeah, scary stuff, man. The roller coaster. Guessing a fire came through here a while back. All the decent sized trees are dead. How long does it take for one of these girl? Five years, maybe? Eight years? I don't know. This is burnt last time I came through. Okay, shelter and spring. David Lesser. I need to blow up a privy, so. And I need some water. It makes sense to grab it here. Oh, damn, look at the fancy porch on this one. Huh. It's a lot like that other one with the. Shower and everything, it's got a nice little cook area with a bench over there, that's where I'm headed. Oh, a swing. What? Isn't that nice? It's a good looking swing there too. Yeah, I think it's beefy. So we split up, 12 went to go deuce, and I was going to go down there to get water. Uh, but talking to a dude named Mint, and he's like, no dude, it's a steep 2, 2, uh, 0.25 down. And he's like, he's like, you know, well, you if you need to. Uh, but 12 has extra water, so we're going to make coffee out of her water. I supply the coffee, she supplies the water. It works. Oh, the spring's only 0.24 from here. No thanks. Okay, what are we working with here? Oh yeah, thing of beauty, huh? We're taking this opportunity to get out of West Virginia for a while. Go back to Virginia, it's for lovers. There's a convenience store just up the road. That's where we're headed. Hoping they have ice cream and then you know, get back on the trail. Liberty, 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 liberty. Oh yeah, live bait, I'm hungry. It's really a nice pond with some lily pads over there I'm gonna check out in a minute. Once 12 gets out of the store, I got myself some wings and chocolate milk. I'm gonna go back in for some ice cream sandwiches. They've got Andy's ice cream sandwiches. I didn't even know those existed, but they look tasty. I think somebody imported these? These don't just grow natural, do they, out here? I don't know. I've never seen lily pads like this in, in real life. And I'm assuming they're put here. Raccoon? Yes. He's sleeping. 
Got everything we needed. I did not end up getting ice cream. Because I'm all full. I drink a half gallon of chocolate milk. <sighs> Cheaper and more filling. It looked really good on the shelf. Warm day. We got that and 12 and I split some wings and a Philly cheesesteak. Fat and happy. We've got like six miles to Harper's Ferry. Uh, Shira is in town. She gave us a, a call. And she told us about a hostel just outside of town that's 15 bucks for a night. And I was like, oh, that's my price range. So that's where we're headed. If we survive traffic. Bigger shoulder than most roads out here. But still not a great shoulder. Go, go, go. Oh, they got somebody to stop for them. Cheaters. That's a critter. He's kind of like my new Mowgli. Um, he's kind of a down and out hiker, you know, doing it super duper cheap. Probably won't make it, but you know, he's gonna do his best, you know, get jobs along the way and stuff. Yeah, I got respect for that. So, you know, I'm giving him tips and pointers on how to be a cheap motherfucker, even though I'm not doing it right on this trail. I'm not, I'm, I'm glamping in my opinion. I'm staying somewhere all the time, but you know, I've still done it, so I have advice for him. Try to get him down to two bucks a mile, maybe. Yeah. One dollar a mile is ideal, but not in this economy. <laughs> I'm imagining a leisurely walk into town. It's rather, rather well manicured now. I have a feeling it'll stay that way. It's only five something to town. I bet this has walked a lot. It's mostly downhill. There's a breeze going on and plenty of shadows. You got nothing to complain about. I can't remember what number I was last time I came through Harper's Ferry because we give you a a number where you fall in line. I got no idea. I can't even remember what thousands it was in. I tried to look back for pictures, but um, I guess this Google account only goes back so far, and I don't seem to have those pictures. I'm sure, I have them somewhere on some device, but you know how that goes. I have service. So I was like, well, let me check some of my other Google accounts because, you know, come on, we all have a few. And I found my picture. I have, it's like 1448. Oh, so long ago. Complete lifetime from my perspective. We got some lime berries going on. You can taste the rainbow. Huh? Look, we got all the colors going on there. Some of them are actually quite ripe. But the best ones are the ones you can't reach. A little series of highway and bridge walking and stuff that leads into Harper's. go in, get our picture taken, you know, all that fun hiker stuff, and then see if we can get a ride up to where the hostel is. It's like a couple miles down the road. 
Of course we can walk it, but who wants to walk? size of these leaves. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Just carry one of these around to block the sun with. Oh man, all this vertical gain. Jesus. It's not worth it. It's not worth it, don't do it. And she's off the trail. I ain't fucking around with the stairs. Oh, I hope this is the last set. Nope. <laughs> Damn it. I got this. Man. <laughs> in my second one. We've signed in. I have 962, I believe. I do remember sitting on these steps opening up a box that my Aunt Fran had sent me. I then this place seemed bigger and more impressive than now I'm just looking at is this tiny building off to the side. When I saw it, I was disappointed this time. I was like, I don't know. I thought it was on a shiny, a shiny building on a hill or something, but <laughs> no, it is not. Oh, memories, how they work. So we're trying to get uh, right down to the hostel down the way. Right now, 12 is working on that. She's the phone person. So when phone stuff has to be done, that's her job. And when it's in person, I'm the face man. Oh, man, well, those roles kind of work. I work much better in person than I do on the phone. And she works pretty good on the phone. She doesn't like doing it, but I don't like talking on the phone either. Because I'm the face man. I remember just stopping to admire this. This was still being worked on last time I came through here. But I do remember taking pictures. I thought this was on another trail. That's just awesome work. Good stonework, man.
interesting little downtown. You know, this stuff has some history. And there's little placards on the buildings and whatnot. You know, some shit went down in this town. I mean, this is on the edge of it all. We're headed to the rabbit hole to see if we can afford food there. So we were making a plan. I, I was like, hey man, you want to spend a couple days in town? Because she's all interested in the history and whatnot, wanting to read the things. And I was like, I don't want to try to, you know, do our chores and, you know, kind of, I don't know, see the town at the same time. So, man, if the hostel is only 15 bucks a night, yeah, I'll, help. I'll stay a couple of nights. Check this town out. So we're trying to find our way into this building. It's got pizza, it says. So far, everywhere is really expensive or closed. I'm like, hey, how do we get up in here? Oh, that's a giant chair. Or are you really tiny? Uh -huh. I'm tiny. More stairs. Okay, I'm here with what I want to say is called Cross Trails, maybe? It's actually really cool. Digging it. She was here, a lot of other people's, but she's the main one that I know. Look at the bugs, those lantern bugs I am fairly certain they're called. This tree is just covered in them. But just this tree. But they go all the way up. Had crazy amounts of them. 